As energy costs rise and climate change looms large, making our homes more sustainable and affordable to operate is more important than ever. I'm excited to share a technology today that could revolutionize residential climate control. Developed by engineers at Midia, this new Porta split air conditioner from Midia is revolutionary. It is the world's first split air conditioner that anyone can install themselves anywhere, even in rented apartments. No drilling, no handling of refrigerants, no need for technicians, and the performance data is nothing less than impressive. It achieves four times the cooling capacity compared to common portable air conditioners, and the efficiency is almost three times higher. Operating this system costs a laughable $2.73 per year. The performance data has been confirmed by an external laboratory from Halka Stuttgart in tests. The reason for these phenomenal values is found in the design of the system. It is a closed, perfectly matched plug-and-play solution where the outdoor unit and indoor unit are permanently connected via a refrigerant circuit. There is no supply or exhaust air hose as is usually the case with portable air conditioners. Only a thin pipe fits through any window frame. With this system, the advantages of the affordable portable air conditioners have been perfectly combined with the expensive split air conditioning systems. We are talking about the next generation of heating and cooling technology. But how exactly does the system work? How useful is it really, and what are the limitations? But what is it actually all about? Consumer tests were able to show a major dilemma with heating and cooling using air conditioners on the market. So far there have only been so-called monoblock or split air conditioning systems, both of which have their advantages but also significant disadvantages. Monoblocks are known to many as portable air conditioners. These are all-in-one systems on casters that are placed next to a tilted or half-open window, through which a thick exhaust hose is stuffed to discharge the room heat. The system is cheap and easy to install, and has therefore established itself as the standard solution, especially for tenants. However, the problem is that they are not really efficient or powerful. Split air conditioners installed by professionals in owner-occupied homes are more effective in this respect. Here, there is an outdoor unit and indoor unit connected by a thin refrigerant line through the wall, which delivers cooling inside. The disadvantages of losses through open windows or exhaust air ducts do not apply. In addition, the system is quiet because the noisy technology like the compressor is hidden in the outdoor unit. On the other hand, these systems are unfortunately really expensive. According to consumer tests, good systems easily cost over $2,184 to install and cannot simply be installed by anyone. Only those with a refrigerant license may handle refrigerants. The main problem is that this system is not suitable for tenants and rental property. Installing it involves drilling a hole through the outer wall to connect the indoor and outdoor units. This is only something for owner-occupied homes. Media has completely solved the problems of monoblocks and split air conditioners with the new Porta split system. It combines the advantages of both worlds. The system only costs half as much as a conventional split air conditioner is also only 39 decibels loud, extremely efficient and powerful, and can actually be installed by anyone anywhere, whether in an apartment, house, garden shed, or even camper van. Like a conventional split air conditioner, it consists of an outdoor and indoor unit, but there is no exhaust air duct as is usual with portable air conditioners. The refrigerant circuit is completely closed, Professional refrigeration technicians are therefore not required for installation. Simply place it and start cooling. The outdoor unit is easily fixed to the window sill or balcony with attachments for every window type. As accessories, the Porta split can also be attached to roof windows and French balconies. The indoor unit can then simply be placed like conventional monoblocks near a window. Done. Since the refrigerant line is on average 30 times thinner than an exhaust air duct, losses through the open window are minimal and, unlike a hot exhaust air duct, it cannot heat the room either. 
The cooling capacity is therefore 12,000 BTU per hour or 3.5 kilowatts. It can be controlled just like an app or remote control. But how efficient is the system really in practical operation? Before we get to the hard facts, a brief comment. In autumn, we will test whether the system is also suitable as an inexpensive heating solution. After all, it is essentially a highly efficient heat pump that can be installed very easily by anyone in a rented apartment. If you don't want to miss this video, feel free to subscribe to this channel. It's worth it. But now to efficiency in operation. The measurements by HVAC Stuttgart are exciting here. They show that a EER of 3.2 to 3.6 is achieved with an outdoor temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. The EER value is something like the performance factor of a heat pump, but for cooling. A value of 3.2 means that for each kilowatt hour of electricity, almost 3.2 kilowatt hours of cooling are obtained. A value of 3.2 to 3.6 is phenomenal considering the extremely high outdoor temperature during the test. The CCER value, e, the seasonal energy efficiency ratio, is 6.1 in real operation. This means you get a whole 6.1 kilowatt hours of cooling per kilowatt hour of electricity. Portable air conditioners cannot keep up with this by a factor of 2 to 4. But now it gets strange. If such fantastic values are actually possible, why is only the A++ energy efficiency label on the device? This label is even achieved by average monoblock devices. How can the Porta split then be four times more powerful and three times more efficient? Now it gets really exciting, because actually this energy efficiency label is absolutely misleading. In fact, the performance of the new Media Porta split is significantly better than the label suggests. But how is that possible? Well, under no circumstances should the A++ label of the Porta split be compared to the A++ label on a conventional portable air conditioner. In fact, this value is just as worthless as the Nutri score on food. But why am I telling you this? This issue is relevant because the Porta split takes on the role of a split air conditioner in terms of technology even though it is categorized as a split air conditioner or as a fully functional heat pump and therefore has very strict test conditions. The A++ value of a Porta split air conditioner is therefore orders of magnitude better than the A++ on monoblock devices. The statement about three times higher efficiency is actually proven to be correct. Possible operating costs of only $24 and 57 cents per season were determined based on an electricity consumption of just under 748 kilowatt hours. This value was calculated based on the average summer days between 1991 and 2020. On average, you can expect around 40 summer days and nine particularly hot days over 30 degrees Celsius. Depending on the weather situation, operating costs can of course vary. But in any case, compared to a conventional portable air conditioner, the cost effectiveness in operation is phenomenal. Here operating costs of over 60 euros for average summers can be expected, and in a worst case scenario even over $109. Due to the relatively long service life of 10 years for the Media Porta split, the system can even pay for itself compared to inexpensive monoblocks. After all, it is essentially a highly efficient heat pump that can be installed very easily by anyone in a rented apartment. Feel free to subscribe to this channel as well so you don't miss any new videos.